Hello, I'm Dr. Nima Patel. I'm the Director of Microsurgery, Division of Plastic Surgery here at Maimonides. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and I'm also board certified in general surgery as well. I finished medical school at Stony Brook and then I did a general surgery training at UMDNJ in Newark. And I did my plastic surgery training in Ohio and then I did a year additional training in breast reconstruction and microsurgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I decided I wanted to become a plastic surgeon uh, when I was in medical school. I had done an away rotation and the cases that I saw there were just amazing. And I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use creativity to solve challenging problems. And in addition to that, it's one of the specialties where you give patients hope. They come into you, they've had their cancer resected or they've had trauma and they come into you just with so much hope that you can help them develop their self-confidence again so that they can go back to their life, be functional in the society, and you know, you help them achieve that. And that's why I chose to become a plastic surgeon and I'm grateful every day that I was able to do what I wanted to do. My main focus is breast reconstruction, which is what I was trained in, both primary and secondary breast reconstruction, as well as cosmetic breast surgery, breast reconstruction, and also microsurgery. I do breast microsurgery where we would use patients' own tissue to reconstruct their breasts, and I also use microsurgery for head and neck cancers. Um, I've done operations where working with other subspecialties here, such as head and neck surgery, where they'll resect a patient's tongue for cancer, and I'll reconstruct their tongue using microsurgery techniques. My treatment philosophy is patients should be comfortable when they come to see me. It's not easy going to a physician. I don't like going to physicians. But when somebody comes and sees me, they should be able to tell me all their concerns without any hesitation. The other thing is I take my time in going over all the options with the patient because it is their body, it is their life. Having elective surgery is a major decision and you should be comfortable with the type of decision you make. There are many, many different ways to get to the same goal. Whatever treatment plan that we choose for the patient, the patient has to be involved in. One of the trends right now is fat injections. Fat injections for breast augmentation. So women having, uh, instead of implants, are having fat injections into their breast to make their breasts larger. Fat grafting for breast reconstruction. Fat grafting to the face. So instead of putting in fillers into your face, you can have fat liposuction from your abdomen or somewhere and inject it into your face. Another growing field is robotic surgery and plastic surgery, so doing robotic uh, flap transfers, minimally invasive plastic surgery. That's, I think, the, the greatest thing about being at a place like Maimonides and being at an educational center where we have the opportunity to continue learning and improving our skills so we can stay up to date with the current trends. So the unique aspect of the plastic surgery program here at Maimonides is we all work as a team. There's three of us here. We all work with each other. We have our own nurse who's also plastic, she's a plastic surgery nurse. So patients that come in, they get a team approach, which I think is very important, especially in cases such as breast reconstruction where we're doing long cases with tissue transfer that I talked about, taking tissue from your abdomen and moving it to your breast. It's a long procedure. When we have multiple physicians working simultaneously, working together, helping each other, it makes it, it makes it a more efficient surgery. And especially with our nurse involved, she will follow the patients preoperatively, postoperatively, so there's a continuity of care. Every day is a key moment. I learn from each of my patients. Uh, one patient that particularly sticks out in my mind is a young male, 18 years old, came to me for uh, gynecomastia surgery, which is m boys who have large breasts. So this boy was to the point where he dropped out of college because of his, he was just so embarrassed. He came to me, we did his surgery, I saw him for his post-operative visits, and then three months after he told me, I'm not going to be able to see you anymore. And I said, why not? What's wrong? Everything looks fantastic. He said that he applied to college, he's going back to college, he got accepted, and you know, this was a life-changing thing. So, and this is just one example. I mean, there's many like that, but when you hear something like that, it makes you realize that this is, this is what I've always wanted to do, and this is exactly why I wanted to go into plastic surgery.